I'm not sure political will is the right word. Okay. I think it's political nerve. But I would suggest that there is a significant change and recalibration of nerve going on mm. when it comes to the climate emergency and sustainability. It's not quite an oh shit moment, as we saw with COVID this time <laughs> last year, where, frankly, everyone had to just man the, man the lifeboats. Mm. But I do think here in the United Kingdom, for example, you've seen a significant shift in the last literally few weeks and a determination mm. on the climate emergency. Mm. Because, I mean, as you know, and I'm not going to get too detailed here, but now the tagline for COP26 is essentially make Z net zero a commitment that you're in. Mm. And if you're not in, by November, you're out. And your shareholders, stakeholders will all make a decision. Mm. That's a significant focusing point. Even though we probably have one of the weakest governments in British contemporary history, uh, in terms of experience and everything else. I think I come back to that word nerve, because if you talk about, if you look at the climate emergency and the need to decarbonize and so on, it's going to take nerve in this country, for example, mm. to tell 26 million households they've got to change their gas boilers. Right. Uh, it's not about will, it's they've got to do it if we're going to, if we're going to handle, if we're going to get to net zero, as yeah. promised. And that's 600,000 gas boilers a year have got to be changed. But we don't have the skills. We don't have the we don't have the money either. But when we heard yesterday from Andrew and I fully agreed with everything he said about the the end of uh, traditional economics models, I think what we're facing now potentially within the next year or two is an, almost an international agreement. It may happen at the G7 or G20 to write off debt. Because no one's going to buy electric cars without some kind of subsidy. No one's going to subscribe to the kind of things that are needed for a net zero economy without significant financial um, encouragement. And that means it's got to come from somewhere at a time when in, in our country we're 300 billion in debt because simply of COVID and supporting jobs and so on. Now, I've gone round in circle, but I'm, I'm not quibbling with political will or vested interest, I'm mm -hmm. saying actually there's a more precise way of putting it, mm -hmm. which is political nerve and determination. And as someone said yesterday, politicians eventually do the right thing, but realize if in doing the right thing, they'll lose the next election. I think that's changing quite, quite rapidly, not in a, a way which is irreversible, but it's beginning to move in that direction. Therefore, mm -hmm. the will and the nerve will come when the right decisions are taken, because that's the only way forward.